Welcome to Daily Devotions for Tuesday. Uh, we are getting closer to Christmas, and once again, I'm here in the church library by our nativity scene. And uh, I thought I would share to you uh, a little bit of thoughts reflecting on the uh, Christmas carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem. First verse, O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark streets shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. I was with a group from our congregation in the summer of 2019, and uh, we spent a couple of weeks in Israel. And one of the highlights, of course, was going into the city of Bethlehem. Uh, there's a maybe a different way that I hear this hopes and fears of all the years. Um, uh, Bethlehem, uh, I don't know what it was like at the time of Christ, but right now uh, it is a city uh, that it, uh, is surrounded by barbed wire. Um, there's lots of uh, soldiers, lots of machine guns, uh, and uh, there is the division uh, between uh, the Jewish parts of Israel, the Palestinian parts, and the Christian parts. And uh, Bethlehem is right in the center of that. Uh, and um, But uh, we're fortunate there is a Lutheran church that has been uh, serving in that area for uh, oh, a long time. Uh, and uh, uh, we were blessed not only to see it, but to volunteer some time there. And we spent a couple of hours helping. Uh, it's not just a church. It's also a community center helping people to rise up out of uh, poverty and struggle. I had met before a gentleman who's a member of that church who um, owns some property just outside of uh, Bethlehem. And he's dedicated the land uh, to serving God. And his only mission statement is to refuse to be an enemy. He refuses to be an enemy. And so he invites all people uh, to come to his farm and to get to know each other and work together. And he's been doing amazing things. But it reminds me uh, that as we sing about this little town of Bethlehem, that uh, sometimes it can be overly romantic in our mind as if it was ever a sleepy little town a little quaint out of the way place uh, where a baby was born we know from scriptures that a politics swarmed into that city sometime after jesus was born as uh, herod tried to kill the future king and there was great tragedy there and perhaps uh, through more of history than less of history. Um, Bethlehem has always been a place of struggle. And it's a reminder to us that Christ was not born into a quaint, picturesque tourist setting. Um, he was born into the struggles of our world. And he came to Bethlehem partly because of that. Partly because this is where People need the most to hear of the love and the justice of Christ. So listen now to the last verse of this hymn and see if you can't hear that message in here as well. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend on us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in. Be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. Oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Let us pray. Lord, uh, we thank you that you were born into a hard place like Bethlehem and that there is no place on earth uh, that you would not go. So we pray especially for those who are going through hardship now around the world, uh, that uh, they will know your presence, your love, and your salvation. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you.